Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you about the Mestro Club which I absolutely love. I've been using it for nine months and I've been kind of obsessed with it, honestly. I don't know how I've done it before that. I mean, I used to, I use tampons. Obviously, I started with pads. Um, that went okay. I mean, I used it for most of my life. Um, but to be honest, I got quite, I mean, a time, especially when I just started to have my, uh, my menstrual cycle. Uh, it would be kind of a strong flow so honestly I did a struggle quite a lot especially let's say at night time uh, I love to sleep flat on my back and I couldn't do it because I was least so conscious that it might like you know lick um, and it was horrible I would wear the pads that are uh, designed for night time um, but even then, I mean, sometimes I had a few accidents and it was just kind of traumatic. So I make sure that every time I slept on my side and at the end I just didn't have a nice sleep. So it was honestly not nice. So I did a bit of research online and I found the menstrual cup. And I have to be completely honest, I never, never heard about them. I mean, I'm 27 years old and uh, I had no clue I mean obviously I probably heard about them when I was like 20 something but I was like I didn't pay much attention I was like oh my god what's that sounds weird and uh, last year I started looking for it um, because I wanted something more like eco-friendly and just I mean something that would give me more protection and I just said you know I want to try something different let's, let's just give it a go so I found the menstrual cap and more specifically the lily cup compact just this one right here so it's from a company called intimina um i ordered it was 24 pounds 95 pence uh, but that's plus delivery so it ended up being like 30 pounds something like that it took ages to arrive like let's say two three weeks something like that but anyway when it arrived i was I was like really excited to give it a try but obviously I had to wait to have my like cycle anyway when it finally happened it took me a while to get used to obviously how to insert it how do I wash it I mean I had so many questions like obviously with a tampon you insert it pretty easy you don't even need to like, touch anything kind of thing because I used to use the I don't know how is it applicator or something like that so you don't need to touch anything and then you're done you just pull it and that's pretty much about it so uh, with this one I did struggle a little bit on how to insert it and all that um, so today I want to show you obviously how it looks like what do I, I mean how do I clean it how do I um, sterilize the cup um, etc etc this is the lily cup compact it comes in this little thing which I find really cute and useful because nobody really knows what you're carrying so that's I like the color as well some people complain because it was like it's the only color that it comes on but I really like it um, anyway so once you open it this is what the cup looks like um, so let me take it out. That's what it looks like. And then obviously we try to open it out. Well, you can just pull the tip. Uh, this was much longer when I got it, but I had to chop it. It was a bit too long for me. So you can just chop it obviously as long as you don't go too far and actually break the cup. So that's what you get. company Intimina has two cups and they come in two different sizes. This one is the size A, um, the size B is a different color, it's like a much stronger pink, so almost like the pink. Um, and this size A is for women who have not given birth or who have but uh, through cesarean to a c-section. Um, and the size B is for women who have given birth naturally and or if not who have a weak pelvic floor 
so it's slightly wider so it will stay in place it's reusable so it's really good for the money it's really good for the environment um, it's the only cup that I've seen that it collapses so it's really really good to carry around carrying your purse etc that's pretty amazing and um, obviously the difference between this and a tampon this collects the blood rather than absorbing um, it's really good for you because it doesn't have all the cotton and that cotton needs to be like bleach with a lot of nasty chemicals to well, to look white and nice and so obviously you put that inside of you and you leave it for I don't know how many hours and then your body absorbs all that so it's really not good for you plus that takes uh, then ages to like um, be or recuperate I don't know how to say it in the environment so that's really not good for everyone for you or for the rest of the planet so this is a much nicer and eco-friendly option um, the other thing um, this is made of a uh, medical silicone uh, so it's really really soft really really bendy and from my experience when you put it on honestly you don't feel anything I actually thought when I swapped from pads to tampons that the tampons were like oh my god this is amazing it's comfortable well, it's, more, it's more comfortable in my opinion than a pad but actually all the time you're kind of conscious that it's there you feel it uh, with the cup this cup um, is amazing you don't feel it you after a while you just forget it's there because you don't even feel it so it's amazing plus because you can leave it for up to 10 hours this one because it's got 18 milliliters capacity you can leave it throughout the night no problem and you're not gonna have any accident honestly um, obviously you know yourself if you have a very strong flow then I would uh, recommend you to get the, the Lily cup which is not compact because that one's got a like, 28 milliliters capacity so it's, it's 10 more than this one for the compact um, therefore it will give you like a bit longer I think it's extra two hours it's 12 hours that it needs to be changed and obviously it gives less chances for you to have any accident during the night. I'm going to show you how I actually insert the cup. So there is, uh, I think, probably many uh, ways of folding the cup. Uh, the one that works best for me, I've seen online that some people do the C or U shape, which is this, and then you just fold it so it looks like a U or C, and then you insert. But in my opinion, what well, that looks quite big and I think I would just struggle honestly with that so what I do is I basically uh, put my finger in the rim and just push in and you see it will just collapse I go all the way in and just take my finger out hold the body of the cup and then it looks like this basically And then I just start inserting the pointing bit first. So let's say I'm going to use my hand as an explanation. Just like this. Goes like that. Goes like that. So if it hasn't opened, what you do is you kind of try to turn it a little bit and that would help. You can try it and it will come off easily, obviously. It takes a while to take off. I mean, it takes more effort. I will explain later how to take it off. Uh, you have to make sure that everything is inside otherwise it's not being inserted correctly I had that problem before that's the reason as well I kind of chopped the tape here so you have to make sure everything is inside if it looks a bit like this coming off it's not properly inserted um, once it's there it's not gonna come off honestly you're not gonna have any leakage or anything it's just great honestly if you are a bit paranoid because it has happened to me like I can feel it something is not quite right it feels like it's up there but it didn't really open up it hasn't happened to me that often but if it happens um, what I do and I know I know it sounds disgusting obviously you need to wash your hands every time you're gonna do this before and obviously after um, and obviously it's your body so well I'm comfortable with it so um, so I just take my finger and kind of go 
through the cup a bit and a little bit around and if something hasn't kind of opened up correctly I will just help it up and that's it I'm done um, obviously then I just wash my hands etc etc and that's basically it um, it won't come off you can swim you can leave it through the night which for me is the biggest biggest benefit um, to just sleep without any worry that I'm gonna have any little accident um, when I get more paranoid um, so I have no problem with that now I sleep super comfortable honestly no problem in the morning I would just empty the cup and be ready give it a wash back in and all good so take it off obviously it would be like that uh, but you know when it needs emptying I mean I guess that's a personal thing for me I kind of change it three times a day three four depends on the day so like the first two days I probably do it a bit more often but after that I know it's not gonna be a lot and you can leave it 10 hours with no problem to take it off I basically start by helping myself with the teeth so I just push push obviously sometimes it's a bit hard so in Pimina in the website they advise that you help yourself as well with your like pelvic muscles uh, you just kind of contract and it will help it come out so once you get the tip then you will be able to maybe grab a bit more and then push 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 it will come off I have never had any accidents with it taking it off so as soon as it's out I just and it goes into the toilet and that's it take it out and then obviously give it a wash with hot water and a bit of soap uh, make sure it's properly clean then I dry with a bit of toilet paper and I put it back in what I always do uh, after the end of every cycle and before I use it for the first time I sterilize the cup so to do that um, you just put the full cup in boiling water for five to eight minutes um, that would be it after that you just let it dry obviously you have to be careful it does get a uh, very hot silicone um, so try not to touch it or get something to touch it with and that's it, you're done. So, ooh, 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 and it goes into the little thing and you're ready to go for, for the next time you need it. So honestly, it's the only thing that I'm using. It's been nine months and I'm, I have just been using this. No tampons, no pads. So it's really economical because I just invested. It was around £30 with the liver as I said earlier. That was it. I haven't buy anything else ever since and I'm absolutely happy it really changed my life and so I hope this helps you really give it a try it's the softest thing ever most convenient amazing I couldn't recommend it enough um, any questions or something let me know and I hope this helped you so have a nice day bye